I come from a very traditional Indian family. My father was super strict. I just didn't understand the concept of arranged marriage, but he did push for it. We would go out a lot. And then of course, eventually we fell in love. So I told my dad and he was initially very upset because it's never happened in our family. But I told him, okay, you meet Sumit. If you don't like him, I'll marry whoever you want. And he met Sumit and he loved him. And he said, I couldn't find a better guy for you. So we were the first non-arranged marriage in our family. And then that opened up the path for my sister. (laughs) Then she married her husband, who is Sumit's friend. So it's awesome. We are married to two best friends. Sumit is the polar opposite of what I am. He is the calmest person ever. He thinks practically. He always looks at the bigger picture. He doesn't get disturbed or distracted by emotions. He is my biggest cheerleader. He pushes me to be my best self. And he always shows me my potential that sometimes I miss because I'm so lost in emotion. We are a perfect balance. I think with my heart, he thinks with his brain, and we just manage to come up with great decisions. Most of our life, I've been the calculating type. She's been the, let's do it because it's fun. I think we went through a wild journey. We changed our country. We lived in Mexico. We lived here. When we look back and see all the things we did, we almost wonder, would we ever have done it again? And part of it was the logic of, we'll figure it out. And part of it was, heck, let's just try it. And, you know, let's see what happens. And let's take some wild bets. And I think it's helped us with our parenting. They both have turned out to be such great kids because of the balance that we bring in their life. Our oldest son is 26 years old. After we joined Freedom Founders, he keeps telling us, Mom, Dad, you are finally doing such cool stuff. I'm so proud of you all because he's in, impressed at all the things that we are doing. And that's his goal now. He That's where he wants to go. So he's investing in real estate. And then he goes and tells his friends and his friends are doing the same. So I love this domino effect that you feel you are changing your life and maybe your son's life, but then he is changing other lives too. So it's really interesting how He's exposed to everything much earlier than we ever were. I always wanted to be a doctor because I love taking care of people. So that path led me to dentistry and I was amazed at how much I actually love dentistry. I knew I would love being a doctor, but I didn't realize how much I would love being a dentist. So I started my practice 18 years ago and I have loved the journey. I didn't realize being an entrepreneur would be so exciting. Not only am I taking care of my patients, I am running a business. I'm helping so many employees. I feel my practice gave me a lot of time to be a good mom. I was able to balance my life out well. That's what I love about dentistry. You can still do well and live your life on your own terms. Planes were my passion. I used to build paper planes and I built telescopes. I actually did aerospace engineering in my undergrad and I just loved every minute of it. Aerospace was very computational, so I learned a lot about computers and computing and using them. And IT was really picking up. So I actually switched careers to IT and I used to travel like crazy. Mm -hmm. And then finally around 40, I kind of had a freedom moment. I felt like my entire life was what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to do engineering. I'm supposed to get an MBA. I'm supposed to get a fancy job. I'm supposed to be a VP in a company. And I finally realized that, you know what? There's more to life than that. I mean, one of my inspirations was her. She started a business. I could see, wow, she took it from nothing to it's a viable business. It makes money. And uh, I actually took a very active decision to walk away from a job I loved that paid me a lot of money. I kind of, without knowing all the principles of Freedom Founder, had started kind of figuring out, okay, we have enough of a nest egg. I think I can take some risk. She had settled down in her career. And so I switched to starting this business. We have almost 20, 25 people now that depend on it. So it's growing uh, in a healthy space and I'm very optimistic for it. I think once our kids left home, we realized that we needed to do some more investing and getting some passive income. And we wanted to dabble into real estate. So the first thing I reached out to was Tony Robbins, went to his events. The real estate thing we went, we realized that that's for people who want to be in the business of real estate, but not Mm -hmm. us. We are are not in the business of real estate. And that's how we actually stumbled on Freedom Founders. I was burnt out in my practice. I just was working so hard and I felt like I wasn't being the leader I needed to be. It gets very isolating in dentistry. You're so isolated and then you just get lost in your own stress and trauma. And then you see all these great people doing these amazing things, how they're leading their practices, how they are growing, how they're marketing. I felt like I learned so much from David, from all my colleagues and from even the trust advisors, how to run your practices, businesses, and your life, how to balance it out. 
During our Blueprint Day, we talked a lot about getting an associate. And I just couldn't comprehend giving up my practice and my patients to somebody else. And I did. I followed the principles. And now I work clinically just two days a week. And this was something Sumit mentioned many, many times to me. But until I saw other people doing it and succeeding at it, I just couldn't understand the whole concept. My office manager to this day says that that was the best decision you made. She said, you're so much easier to work with. You're so much happier. I am less tired. My practice has grown almost 40% since I joined. I don't work as hard. So my passion has come back. I think we're in that phase where there's the rest of our life to live. And it's like an open book. And what makes it interesting is we can fill it the way we want. Now I feel I have more time to go back and look at my hobbies. So I feel like there's so much more in my life that I can accomplish now that I have this freedom. And I am so excited. I can't wait to keep moving in that direction. I have the ability to carve my time out the way I want to with who I want and how I want. And that is a luxury I didn't have for many, many years. The future looks great.